welcome everyone this is a helix 90 tutorial so a lot of you have been requesting how to do this right so I'm going to show you today here's the problem it's difficult to teach somebody how to do this because it's more than just knowing how to do it you need to have very consistent triple edit mechanics and you need to have good movement so I'm going to give you my tips to make your triple edits really consistent and that will help you a lot when you're trying to learn these. So what you want to do for consistent triple edits, my three tips. Number one, first of all, I'm on keyboard and mouse. So if you're on controller, I have no guarantees these tips will work, but for building your building options reset building choice turn this off in my opinion i think it makes it way easier to do triple edits that's because you're not going to accidentally place the wrong build and it, it takes a long time to explain what that means just turn it off confirm edit on release this is preference i like to have it on next and most importantly for good triple edits, I recommend learning to place builds. So this bind right here, place building with something other than your left mouse click. I like to use my right, my right mouse button. You can use whatever you want. Okay, so practice your triple edits with those tips, right? And it doesn't matter how you practice them. Just get those nice consistent triple edits first. It's gonna make this so much easier. Yeah, it seems like a fancy thing to triple edit, but here's the thing. Here's why you have to know it, right? If I don't triple edit and I try and do a helix, it's just, I don't know. It just doesn't, it falls apart. It doesn't make much sense, right? So you don't need to know how to quad edit, but you do need to know how to do that triple edit. All right, here's the tutorial. Let's say you have a cone or a ramp. You can start either way. So we're going to do our triple edit. As we confirm this build, we want to make sure we're standing about here. And you might be up or down. But by here, I mean on the far side of the ramp as possible. As we confirm this edit, hold your cone and build two cones. Then walls run into the box. Now we're in this situation. This is the confusing part, but all you do is reset this and turn it into this edit. Then if we run right here, we'll be running on this cone. And this looks confusing because this cone that we're going to run on is this first cone that's part of the triple edit. And don't worry if it looks weird, just accept it for now. So here's the hardest part of doing these. So we do our triple edit, right? We get our cones. Now the movement, I want you to watch where I'm walking. See how I'm walking right to the edge and then right to the edge. This is the movement that you want. So you want to always be right on the edge when you confirm these edits. Always holding your cone when you confirm that triple edit. And when you re-edit this wall, make sure you're holding your walls then you can get the other pieces. Now, here's the other thing. We can do helixes on this side too. I personally find this a lot more difficult, which is why I'm not teaching people that are new to do it that way. So I think it's a lot easier to do it on this side. Now, you guys have the instructions. So let's talk about what makes it fast and what makes it slow. So I'm going to do some slow ones. So if, if I do it slowly, it's like this. I run really far into the box before I turn around, right? So watch how slow this is. Right? That's really slow. But if you want to do it fast, you don't run far into the box. So as soon as I get up here, I'm not running into here to turn around. As soon as I get to here, I'm trying to run like this. 
And that's where you guys will find the skill comes into these is not just doing them, but learning to do them fast like that. And that's where it gets more difficult, right? Because as you saw it there, I messed up. So as soon as I make this edit, I want to be like resetting it really close to the wall. See, look right here. This is technically the fastest you can go because you're so close to the wall. So as you guys get good at these, you can make sure you just keep your movement really close to this wall. And that's what's going to give you fast helixes and allow you to use them as a retake and catch people off guard. So let's go over it one more time. Let's watch what happens if I mess up my movement. So I'm exaggerating it here, but you guys can tell that even if you mess it up a little bit, you're going to get that frustrating loss of momentum here. So when you when you're learning them, don't worry too much about the edit, really worry about that movement and really focus on getting into position when you make this wall edit. Because if you make this wall edit here and then you release it here, you're going to get stuck, right? Look at the point you get stuck. Even if you're really far over, you'll still get stuck a little bit. So that's why you always want to make sure it's here. Anyways, I hope that makes sense for you guys. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I know a lot of people wanted this Helix 90 tutorial. So let's consider this part one because there are more complicated helixes you guys can learn after you get the basics down. For example, <laughs> and I'm messing it up, but as I said, you guys can do this right side one too. And maybe who knows, for some of you guys, you might prefer this right strafing one. It might make it easier. It might make more sense in your brain. For me, I find it difficult because of the position that like my thumb has to be in. Now, here's another thing to, I should tell you guys. So if you guys already know me, you know that I play on a keyboard with a joystick on it. Gaming mod kit joystick. However, you can do helixes on regular keyboard and mouse and you can do them on controller. I think so far, I've seen videos of six other people so far that just learned he how to do these on their own. So even if you're just watching this tutorial for the first time, you can still be one of like the top 10, 15, 20 people that knows how to do these. And just practice it a little bit each day. It is frustrating. Um, I know some friends that are very good builders, like way better than me at fighting and creative, generally better mechanics. And it took them a frustrating amount of time to learn this. But just focus on your movement. Focus on getting all the way to this side of the cone, all the way to this side of the cone. And then as you get better, you can run a shorter distance into the box. Now, here's a th here's another thing. As you can guys can see, I screwed up and made a ramp. So if you make a ramp, just know that you're going to maybe mess up and place ramps. That's fine, right? You can still do helixes with that ramp. So whether you place a ramp or a cone after editing through here, it's absolutely fine. And it's pretty much the same muscle memory. So I would actually suggest to do it both ways. Anyways, guys, I'm old player. I make content every day on TikTok. <laughs> That's Cap. I try to do that. I stream on Twitch. You can find all my socials, Discord, everything in the description. And yeah, please leave any questions or comments. I'd love to hear how it's going for you guys.